Let's see how to add color to a very simple character like this. And this method will be applicable to any style, cartoony or realistic. So what I don't do is go to here, pick a color, and then start filling it in like this because it's going to mush with the lines. So we're going to put the colors on a different layer. But the first thing we need to do is to create a mask layer. So what I'm going to do is switch off all the other layers uh, so we can see what, what's happening. Click on the tie down layer and select the magic wand. Tolerance I've, here, I've got here set to six. And if I click outside the area, then you can see we've made a selection area. And let's hold down shift and just select these areas here by clicking in them. You can also use the lasso tool if you want to go a little tighter. So let's do that. And what's happening now is I've selected all the negative space around the figure. What I want to do is invert that. Let me zoom out again so you can see. Go select inverse. And now if I color this white, we'll make a new layer and call it uh, white and fill it in. You see it overshoots. So let me undo that and go select, modify, contract. And we can contract this by any number of pixels. So this one is set to seven and that happens to look pretty good. And you see how this one now has moved too much. So if I want to get rid of that, I can hold down the Alt Option key to make the layer bigger or the Shift key to make it smaller. So right now I'm holding down Shift and I'm manually correcting this. And there might be other areas around here too, you can see. Let me hold on Alt Option and remove that. Right, let's just paint that in white and see, Fill Tool and white. And now you can see also there's spots around here that are definitely in need of cleaning up. Now I can go in and I can clean them up with different eraser tools, whichever one you like, or you can right click and pick your own tool. So that's one way of doing it and it's quick and sort of gets it done. But again, it can leave these artifacts. So let me just delete all that. Let's see if we can do it by hand. We could also get the brush tool, pick a solid brush and start painting it in. It takes forever. Let's just pick the lasso tool. Make sure again, we're working on the white layer and we just do this. The beauty of this is I can really get this thing precise. So that is what I achieved doing it by hand. It took a good bit longer, maybe about two minutes, depending on the complexity of the character. But now we have a perfect mask area. Now we color it. And again, we have different options. So what I'm going to do is make different color layers. So I'll make one for the skin, uh, maybe one for the eye, one for the shirt, one for the collar on the neck and one for the trousers. And let's just hold down Alt Option and click here. Allows me to nest these under the white. These are all now masked. So anything I paint in here would be limited to this area. First of all, before I start painting, let's name them. Put the skin there, and this will be the eye. And this will be the shirt, collar, and trousers. Little green man, so let's just pick a bright green. And again, we have different ways of doing this. Uh, we're going to use my preset, just pick a big solid brush and start painting. Bear in mind too that uh, the eye is going to have its own, actually I'm painting on the wrong layer. Let me get rid of that and paint on the skin layer. And let's just plop this in. So you can see how speedy this is. I'm painting like right out here and you can't see anything. If I unnest it, you see what's happening. So it's being nested inside or masked by the white area here. And let me just delete some of this stuff. And let's paint the eye. I'm going to make the eye sort of green as well. So it's a little more interesting than just plain white. Now let's paint the shirt and we'll give him like a blue. And because the shirt is beneath the skin, I can paint right under it like this. So I don't have to go right up against and go flush. So depending on how you layer the colors, you can usually be a bit more uh, loose. And the trousers, I'll just keep dark. And again, because these are going beneath the, the shirt and all this other material here, I can be a bit sloppy in the way I fill that. So this is one way of doing it. It's really nice. It's kind of intuitive. You're coloring like you're painting with a brush. Oh, I forgot the collar. Let's give them a completely different one here, like the eye. And we need to go on top of the shirt, get the layers right. And I can also use the smudge tool to sometimes get a slightly more natural blend between one and the other. And the collar too, I can put on top of the uh, skin if I want to try to mess around with that a little bit. There we go. So that is the process that you can use. That's one way of doing it. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this alien and I'll show you a slightly different way. Let me get rid of all of these. What I'm going to do is duplicate the white layer, holding an Alt Option to duplicate it and then Alt Option again to nest it inside there. And I'm going to go to Blending Options and this time I'm going to go Color Overlay. Let's just again pick like a really bright kind of green for the skin. And now we have the color overlay skin. And what we do now is just chop this thing into pieces. So this is a different way of doing it. And you might find it's quicker. And it does give you very precisely uh, aligned color areas. 
So I'm going to use the lasso tool to select the eye. Control C, Control X, and then Control Shift V to paste in place. Let me zoom out and then let's hold down Alt Option and click to mask that. And again, we have our eye and it's white. I don't want it to be white. Let's go to blending options, color overlay, and again, make it that. Now, why am I doing this as opposed to the original method that I used? One beauty of this is that if you want to change a color model, you can do it at the click of this. It also creates very clean layers. So now you have an eye layer and a skin layer, and they are precisely lined to one another to within a pixel. I'll show you how quick this is. It's also fast. So again, Control C, Control X, Control Shift V, and this would be the shirt. Right click, blending options, color overlay, and again, I'll just make it blue. As you go on, you see we're chopping parts away from the skin layer. It's reductive, so you're pulling these parts out. So as you move on, it gets cleaner and cleaner and faster. So again, Control C, Control X to delete it, and then Control Shift and V, and this will be the trousers. Right click, blending options, color overlay, make it darker. Okay, okay. And then the last one was the collar, which is still on the skin layer here. Control C, Control X, Control Shift V, and let me drag it up to here. Collar, right click, blending options, color overlay, and I think we put the yellow. Unhide all the other layers, and there we go. And then we can put the, the background in. Now, the, again, the beauty of this, same, basically the same, I just like the different colors, of course. Um, so this one has the colors kind of blended into it. You could always change these later on, right click and blend color overlay. If you wanted to change it, of course you can do that, but you find, I think the one on the right side for me, I've just favored this more and more as I work. It's nice to have you know, immediate access to the overlays if you want. And that lasso method of selecting areas and filling them, it works really nicely. It's a matter of preference, which one you prefer or not, but that's how we color. And again, the beauty of this, if we have a background, we have our entire character separate from that, very clean. Uh, we can move them around, resize them relative to the background. So this is a really nice, clean, solid way of masking the character and then applying the colors to those mass layers.